we start with the first cranial nerve, and that's the olfactory nerve. And it uh, deals with the sense of smell. Uh, so you usually don't have to test it because it's quite hard to get the equipment that you need. But uh, you ask the patient, you say, OK, Danica, have you noticed any change in your sense of smell? No. Now, you don't say, do you have a smell or do you have any new smells? You know, people can misconstrue these things. So it's a change in your sense of smell. Now, loss of sense of smell is called anosmia. And we all have experienced it at some point, i.e. we've had a cold or a flu. Sometimes it's nasal polyps because the nerve goes up, not surprisingly, from your nose. And it goes through the cribriform plate of your ethmoid bone, and then it goes under the frontal lobe to the olfactory bulb. So lesions of the first cranial nerve will be in the nose, at the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone, such as the base of skull fracture, or at the base of the skull. So a tumour, for example, at the base of the skull would cause anosmia if it had been growing there long enough, usually a meningioma. And then in neurodegenerative conditions such as Parkinson's, it can be an early sign of, of Parkinson's, can be anosmia. Now, if someone says, on the other hand, that they do have a problem with their sense of smell, well, then you must test it more formally. Now, to do so, you don't want to stimulate lacrimation or gustation, so nothing too strong in terms of uh, odours that you'd use. Generally, it's recommended bland but distinctive uh, odours such as coffee or mint. So, I'm going to explain to you that I'm going to put a specific smell under one nostril while including the other. So if I ask you to close your eyes, I'm going to include one nostril, and I want you to tell me what you think that is. Okay, can you smell that? Yeah. And what is it? Coffee. Okay. I'll do the other one. Now, <clears throat> right, I'm going to include your nostril again. Now, could you take a smell of that, please? Mint. Mint. Mint and coffee are the two that are usually recommended to uh, establish whether or not uh, there is a loss of sense of smell or anosmia. 